Happy Tuesday to each and everyone and welcome back to Ecom Channel. Today's video lesson would be about how to construct the contents of your theoretical and conceptual framework or research paradigm. I certainly would provide a concrete example for each of them. So let's get it on and enjoy learning with Teacher Claire. First and foremost, let us have simple definitions of the essential terms you need to be aware of when talking about this research frameworks. The first one is theory. Theory is an assumption, a guess or belief that could be well verified through the scientific method, repeatedly tested and confirmed through observation or experimentation. An example is, when students enjoy the online game application utilized in their online class setting, they tend to attend classes more often. It is the researcher's assumption that students attend classes more when they enjoy the online games the teacher used. This belief then can be proven by observations or through the data the researcher would gather and collect. Further, research theory is formulated to explain, predict, and understand phenomena, and in many cases, to challenge and extend existing knowledge within the limits of critical bounding assumptions. This example theory I have provided then would help explain why students could possibly enjoy or not the employment of online game applications in class setting. Digging deeper to the concepts of research theory in the part of research which we call as theoretical framework, you explain the theories that support your research, showing that your work is grounded in established ideas. These published ideas refer to theories expressed by experts in the field into which you plan to research. Meaning to say, the theoretical framework is consisted of generally accepted concepts and ideas that support your research study. An example is, in the example research study, the theoretical framework will make use of theories of cognitive development to explain the students' perceptions on the use of online game applications for class setting. Now look at this example of theoretical framework. Here, you introduce your theories by providing a background of the research study. In this part, you reveal the theories you will use to back up the concept of your research study, then provide a short description of the chosen theories. Of course, you should not forget to provide citation when you use published ideas that came from an expert. The next is, never forget to connect the theories to your study to affirm why you will use them. Combining these ideas, here is the theoretical framework of the sample research study. The next framework we have is the conceptual framework. Talking about concept, it could simply mean something conceived in the mind, a thought, or an idea. In research, Concept is based on real phenomena and is a generalized idea of something. Examples of concepts include common demographic measures like income, age, education level, and number of siblings. A conceptual framework illustrates what you expect to find through your research study. Example how students view the usage of online game applications in the online class setting. A conceptual framework 
defines the relevant research variables for your study and maps out how they might relate to each other. Examples of variables are samples profile and research method and instruments. Always remember that you should construct a conceptual framework before you begin collecting data. It is often represented in a visual format we call as research paradigm. This paradigm uses the IPO model which means input, process, and output. And here is an example of conceptual framework using the IPO model. The input box shows the background of the study's participants. The process box gives an overview of the methods and the research instruments. The output box refers to the expected results of the research study. Now, combining these ideas, here is the explanation of that research paradigm. And those are the examples of theoretical and conceptual frameworks. Should you have any queries about them, should you have any queries about them, you may just comment on this video lesson's comment box. I hope you learned something that will help you in working with your research paper. Thank you very much for spending time listening, reading, and watching this video lesson. Have a great day ahead and once again, happy Tuesday and always wear a happy heart.